Hey folks, welcome back to Dylan's Outdoors. Hey, Man, we got a lot going on today. Yeah. We got our, uh, my brother and sister-in-law coming on to go eat supper night after me and him do a little deer hunting. Um, she's kind of a finicky eater. She wanted requested pork, anything barbecue, so we decided it would be the quickest versus a Boston butt uh, to do a slab of the rib, which you see we bought to this store bought from the local grocery store. Um, I'm going to do the steps on the first one, the second one. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to do one with a sweet and smoky, and we're going to do an, the other one with the applewood um, rubs. Um, I based them with uh, yellow mustard to keep the seasoning intact. But a lot of people do this step, and some don't. But you have a skin. When you flip your ribs over, it's called membrane. you have the membrane. And a lot of people don't. I trimmed this one up. Man, it had a lot of access to you know, I just squared it up nicely, trimmed this top off, off. but you pull all this off. Sometimes it can be a pain, and other times it, it, it it'll just come right off. Come right off. It kind of all depends on your quality of meat. What I found out. Well, I'm trying to um, me so, But um, kind of take. Sometimes, like I said, they can be a butt. But get them cleaned up. He's just trying to your zoom in, Gunner. He's me. Me, but we're a little Gunner. These make your ribs uh. A little less tough when you go to eat them, what I, I found out. Like I said, not everybody does this, but... We do. You know, we do. So, yeah, this is kind of one of them. One of them things, some do, some don't. I think a lot of your bigger cooks and stuff, they always pull this off, but... So, you got to get out there and get a little, give a little oomph to it, because it does, can be aggravating. Once you get a good chunk going for the most part, though, it peels right off, so it's not that bad. So, I'm going to smoke this for my dog, so that's just a piece that was cut off, I guess, off the top side of the ribs when they cut it, the butcher did, so get, get your money's worth, I reckon, you can save for the ribs, though. So, like I said, we got a lot going on. We we're, we got a full video going to be out for doing a... Uh, Deer jerky Deer too. jerky. They're actually in the dehydrators now, which 11.59. So those of you watch both these videos, 11.59 the dehydrator started. So we're gonna trim it up a little more, get some more of this fat and stuff off. Let's make sure we kind of clean them up. I mean, ain't no competition cook with that. I'm sure not. But uh. I do kind of like trimming up and it makes it a little easier to eat. So, not as tough. But to me, that looks good. All right, I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick. I'm going to wipe them dry. And we're going to start with the side I have facing the camera right now. Just the side we just clean. Like I said, we base ours with mustard. Um, there's some several different things you try. We've just been stuck on mustard because um, I like to tang a mustard. So well, I we're just gonna do that. I don't like mustard. Use one hand, get it all rubbed in there good. I can say really this this mustard pretty much cook it, it does cook into the meat, especially on the top side. But for the most part, it's just something to give your uh, your seasoning. Something stick to it. So, and you don't have to use mustard. Yeah. People use different stuff. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to use mustard. I I actually... We like the mustard. I've actually, and I'm going to try it, but I'm not going to give you the secret. I'll tell you now, but I do have something I wouldn't mind trying. And we may end up doing that in the video. All right, the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to split them up. Two different flavors. The first thing I'm going to do is just the apple wood. I'm going to make sure you get it. Good side. This this side here is not quite as important as your top side, so I don't put it as heavy. If my wife was doing this, it'd be a it'd be double. It'd, I like it. It'd be I like to see it. And she she'll she'll definitely put the seasoning to it. So I'm gonna flip this over. Like I said, I didn't trim anything off this side. I pretty much just left it to the other side. Let me rinse my hands off again. I got gloves, but I, I'm about to run out of gloves. And I need my gloves for my jerky, so I uh, didn't want to put on another pair of gloves to do this. When I need my gloves to 
to do my jerky. So I need to get some more. But like I said, just put it on there, base it. It ain't got to be stingy with it, no matter. It cooks a little bit thicker it is. I, like I said, it does cook into the meat. Like I'll give it a little more on this side. But, um, cooking, I, uh, cooking the ribs, when I start to grill, I always do the three, two, one. To be honest with you, it probably never makes it to the one. Um, I do about three hours of smoke, take it off, wrap it, and normally about my two hours of wrap time, um, they're they're pretty much done. And sometimes they don't even get the two hours wrap. It just depends on how how we want them that night. You know, falling off the bone or still a little stuck to the bone. I started to burn them like a little stuck to the bone, but. And I think I'm gonna come back with just a little bit of black pepper on the top of that. So, add a little black pepper. You can kind of throw what you want yourself. Um, the next one I might even throw in a little, let's see, we just used applewood, hickory, smoke. We might, on um, the next one I think we might even throw a little garlic in on, um, a little onion powder to the next one we do. But pretty much it's going to be the same step. I'm not going to bore you bore you watching the same process so um we're going to do the same thing just other, different seasons we're just going to do different seasons y'all stay tuned we put them on the grill all right you folks i've done a short on this um just put it out checking the ribs but this is for the full video like i say we got the ribs smoking we still got an hour about an hour and a half i'm gonna go deer hunting try to get some footage of deer my wife's gonna finish it up with the smoking process and wrapping but that's how they turn out so far got about another, so about another hour of smoke then they'll be wrapped put back on the grill about another two hours that's for the dog which is off of that. <laughs> Little treat for the dog. I just got finished wrapping them. Alright folks, for our cooking on the ribs, for Dylan's outdoors, this is the final ordeal. We got two sets. I've already got them cut up. My brother and my sister-in-law is here. After we got a tree stand, we got everything cooked. We got the jerky off the first batch. That is to come to. Matter of fact, um, that'll be separate from this, but we'll show you that here in a little bit. But uh, they're done. I don't know. I, I, I'll let my taster pick up a rib and taste it. <laughs> yeah. So, pick a rib and take a bite, and you tell us what you think. That's all right. That's real good. That ain't too bad. See, your so, wife can cook. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not missing out tonight, folks. No, no he always he always <laughs> sends a comment in the comments or texts me, and when I say you're missing out, he say he ain't missing out tonight. So, hey. But um, we're going to sit down and enjoy and eat. And like I say, we both slabs, other slabs still resting. I'll cut them up when that gets served up. And, um, Y'all stay tuned because we got to eat a jerky and that'll finish that video up and deer hunting's to come out soon. Y'all stay tuned.